Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my boring company and SpaceX warehouse updates here at Bastrop, Texas. As part of a community outreach program, the Boring Company in Bastrop, Texas has opened up a community center. It's called Hyperloop Plaza. It actually has a link here on X, and you can take a look at that uh, uh, with the link at the bottom of the screen. And it's open to the public and residents around the facility here at Bastrop, Texas. So I recently decided to uh, pay a visit and see what this site looks like. As you can tell, they have the now open sign on the Hyperloop Plaza, uh, kind of an archway. A lot of uh, parking here and the overall site looks pretty good. Now I did arrive on a day that it was closed because of the Thanksgiving holiday, but as you can see, they have some interesting displays outside a segment of the Boring Company tunnel for visitors to take a look at. Uh, nice awning and entrance way. And again, this is open for the public with picnic uh, tables. This is a good view on the inside. They have a kind of a small convenience store that the locals can come in and purchase uh, some of the goods uh, that are on sale. They also have a section that is open for events and you can give an idea here what this looks like and also they uh, open this up for uh, the locals to come in and uh, uh, not only shop but just sort of take a break and to have a chance to meet with people uh, around the area. They have merchandise for the Boring Company. They also have the burnt hair and some other tunnel segment displays. And as I mentioned, they have this open section with uh, picnic tables. And they also have uh, some sports events that are available for the public to use as well. You can see two nice courts that have been installed here. So anyway, it's a great outreach program and the locals seem to be very enthusiastic about it. So if you're in Bastrop, Texas, next to the Boring Company, come on out and take a look at this new facility. Moving across the street, we get a good view of the SpaceX Starlink facility and how it looks today. Here's a few images that you'll see in the video and uh, the extension on the northeast side, as you can tell, is almost completed. And uh, in addition to that, uh, it looks like they have a new receiving door here on the northeast side as well. They're preparing another section with geotextile membranes and some dirt, possibly for a, another parking lot. And they have a large tent on the side of the building on kind of the back side and nearby there they've now put the awnings on this employee gathering place and where the food trucks are located and the main entrance is looking as great as always so we're going to take a look at all of this and more in the video coming right up if you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. begin this uh, Thanksgiving weekend video here at the Boring Company site. We'll look at this uh, courtyard location. On the bottom of the screen, moving to the left, you can see that device that uh, is used to extract the dirt out of the tunnel during the boring process. We also see a lot of the concrete segments that are manufactured here. You can also see the red uh, uh, molds that they use to make those items. Those are what line the inside of the tunnel during the process. In fact, on the left-hand side of the screen, and I will uh, turn the drone back closer, you can see two of the uh, test tunnels that have been uh, manufactured here, and they go underneath the road that separates uh, this facility with the uh, SpaceX Starlink site. And you can actually uh, see in just a moment where those uh, come out on the other side of the road. But there's a good view of some of those molds. There's some blue ones on the left, some of those pipe segments, and what those segments look like when they are installed. Now, the tunnel on the right has that uh, green door with that uh, kind of that uh, yellow gear. That's uh, used by the Boring Company for Hyperloop testing. And again, as I bring the drone up, you can see where those uh, 
pipes come out, uh, the tubes uh, for the boring company on the other side of the road. As I pull away, this reveals more of the site. You can see many of the buildings that have the Boring Company logo on it. You can see Liner Truck Lane with that red and white striped uh, trench. And also just uh, overall how this entire facility looks. On the right-hand side of the screen in the middle, you can see the recreation area with the swimming pool, some awnings and pagodas, and also a sports uh, court and some gymnasiums. And of course, all of these uh, housing units are uh, provided by the Boring Company for employees of the site and their families. And it's really nice to be able to provide this level of uh, support for the employees because this is a rural area and there's not a whole lot of infrastructure near this location. Uh, this is a good view from uh, this side looking back across the entire facility and you can see the SpaceX site on the uh, top of the screen. Uh, and also just a, a good view of how this uh, site has some additional land that could be developed later on. Now at the bottom of the screen, we see this black covered item and we'll also see some horses. I'm not sure, but I think these horses may be a part of the Boring Company and perhaps uh, some of the employees or their families or maybe some of the community are able to uh, uh, ride those horses. I'm not sure, but it's kind of a nice touch since we're here in the uh, center part of Texas and it's a very rural uh, location. So it kind of goes with that entire motif. Now, as we get closer to this larger structure, we can see some of the uh, materials that are underneath this uh, covered awning on this side. We've also seen recent events where the Boring Company has held uh, uh, engineering expos and hiring events, and a lot of that took place in that particular building. As we get closer to Liner Truck Lane, again, this is that red and right striped uh, trench or or depression. Not 100% sure what this is used for, but if you happen to know, let me know in the comment section of the video. That would be very helpful. So I'll let the video play. We'll fly around this part of the site and get a good view of uh, how this looks and uh, uh, some of the activities that are going on on this part of the site. a good view on the other end of this large warehouse with the Boring Company logo. You can see some uh, trailers, some equipment. That large yellow crane is uh, uh, idle at the moment. It hasn't seemed to be used in a while, but it's also possible that uh, it's just re related to the fact that they're so busy out at Las Vegas right now. Now, as I pull away, this gives you a good view of this courtyard location with all of those uh, tunnel segments that have been manufactured and many more of the molds in front of that rounded top structure. They do have the concrete mixing and manufacturing process here as well. So this is where a lot of those segments are manufactured and then transported to where they are needed. As we look at this part of the site, we can uh, get a good sense of some of the materials that are being stored on this uh, part of land. We can also see a green fence segment has been installed, kind of separating this away from that road, which is uh, uh, used to move materials in and out of this part of the Boring Company. And as we continue to fly towards the structure, the large structure again, we can get a good sense of this uh, containers, some of the workshops and materials on this concrete uh, apron that has been poured here as well. Now, as I mentioned, uh, one of the biggest changes here is the community outreach with a community center that has been constructed. And as I pan the drone, we get a good sense of what this looks like from behind. We can see those sports courts. We see some forms. It looks like more work is going to be done in that area, maybe adding more facilities. And we can see the uh, boring tunnel pipe segment that is a display out for visitors to take a look at and also that covered awning area with the picnic tables. And as I bring the drone down a little lower, this gives you a good view of how this looks today. As I mentioned, this is open to the public. It is a community center and they also have a lot of uh, uh, various things that you can do in there, purchase uh, goods, items, and even some boring company merch and a good, a good view of some of the sports courts and that formwork that is underway here in this part of the structure. 
So that's a pretty good look at The Boring Company today and some of the new developments that are going on here uh, with uh, The Boring Company and also for the community. Now that we're on the opposite side of the road, let's uh, turn towards the SpaceX Starlink facility and take a look at the updates that are going on here today. One of the most obvious is some of the land work that you see in the front part of the building. This is uh, continuing to uh, kind of reshape this location and finish it to uh, be whatever it's going to be at the end. I don't know if it's going to be a combination of parking and landscaping or something else that's definitely something to look at. Now on the right hand side of the screen you can see that large addition that has been made to the factory and we'll get some closer views of that uh, a little later in the video. But as I continue to wrap around this part of the site you can clearly see those two boring company tunnels that come out on this part of the site with that uh, concrete uh, turnaround road and a very good look at the front end of the building with that uh, iconic uh, black treatment and some of the landscaping and other uh, kind of uh, architectural features on the walkways and also the uh, grassed areas with the uh, walkways as well. All of this side with the parking lot has been really nicely landscaped. You can see that characteristic black stripe on the building, but also some of the gray landscaping material in kind of triangular shapes along this side. It really gives a very nice aesthetic to this building. It's certainly much more modern looking than what we see across the road at the Boring Company, but this looks to be the current trend and architectural style that uh, SpaceX is adopting. Now, on my recent trip down to Starbase, we were looking at the Star Factory and uh, wondering maybe this kind of treatment will be added to that facility at some point in the future. Now, one of the neat things is this employee picnic area with these uh, kind of uh, two triangular looks, and they've added the awnings now. And a uh, very nice uh, area. You can see the employee walking by gives you a good sense of the scale. They also bring in food trucks, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen. And in addition to that, they've added this uh, large tent. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this may be for kind of an employee cafeteria while they're continuing to do construction on the inside in addition to production. And speaking of which, as we continue to maneuver around this side of the building, production has begun. I've been talking to employees that do work here, and that ramp is uh, coming up. Now, they are building the terrestrial parts of the Starlink system, not the satellites themselves. So the things that you can, as a consumer can purchase, like the dishes and other items that would uh, uh, allow the Starlink to work on the ground. So again, this is not for satellites, but it's going to be for that terrestrial parts of the satellite uh, of the Starlink system. As we continue to wrap around this part of the building, we can see the large water tank and the pump house. I think this is used for the fire suppression system uh, for the entire facility, and it's on a well, and that's where the water source comes from. These structures on the bottom left of the screen are some of the old farmhouses that uh, remain here and they were uh, part of the original landscape and it's uh, part of the property for uh, SpaceX, but they've elected to keep them at least temporarily. In this section, I just want to give you a good close-in view. They've had geotextile membranes installed, more of the fill on the top of the uh, geotextile membranes, and this may be prepared for a parking lot or maybe uh, some more roadways access to all of the receiving doors that you can see on this side of the building and also more of the equipment, materials, and contractor trailers here in this material staging location. As I get closer to the building, uh, you can get a good sense of this side. The extra tent has been there for at least the last uh, two months, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what that uh, uh, serves. We also see that there's a truck that either made a delivery or is picking up um, perhaps some product, uh, production uh, items, and that's great to see as well. And uh, this is a good close-in view of this extension that has recently been added to this part of the building. And you can see that it has those uh, characteristic windows that match the rest of the trim on this side of the structure. And it looks like a large uh, loading door has been added as well. So I'll uh, fly around uh, a little bit more towards this direction just to give you a good sense of some of the grade work that is going on here. 
um, and some of the uh, landscaping and other detail work that will be needed to finish out this uh, property. I'm not sure if they're going to build another structure on this side. Uh, it does look like there's quite a bit of graded area being prepared. But if you look at uh, some of the materials in this storage yard, I don't see any large construction materials. We certainly see those items wrapped in white uh, kind of uh, containers. That's most likely production equipment. But uh, I think that the structure itself is uh, pretty much where it's going to be, at least for a while. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask, are they going to put solar panels on the roof? I, I don't know, uh, but it would make sense at some point if they were to do that. There's obviously plenty of roof real estate available on this uh, originally 521,000 square foot facility, but with the addition, it's probably closer to about 700,000 square feet now. Good low altitude view of the receiving doors on this side of the structure. Uh, there are quite a bit that uh, have been installed, so they are expecting a lot of production, a lot of activity here in the near future. As I wrap around the building, I'll give you a good uh, closer view of the cooling system, some of the pipe work that you can see, and also the electrical on the right-hand side of the screen. And of course, as we fly over this temporary tent, this is a good view uh, again of that uh, employee gathering location with the uh, tables and those awnings. Again, a very uh, neat look to this facility. Now, I've had some people ask, does this arrow kind of point to the north? And I think it's actually more northwest. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any significance whatsoever to its direction, but I've had a lot of uh, viewers ask about that, and uh, I thought I would at least try to address it uh, here in the video. Now at this lower altitude, we give a good view of all the landscaping on this side, uh, along with the parking lot. And again, I think it's a very nice treatment. It really adds to the overall look of the uh, Starlink facility. And uh, again, it gives it that futuristic look. As you can tell across the road is the Boring Company and a good look here at those two Boring Tunnels. Uh, a door on the one on the left. And again, that's where they do some of the Hyperloop testing, at least according to uh, the Boring Company. And the tunnel on the right has got uh, some kind of graded material, a doorway, uh, probably to keep animals and other debris out of that when it's not being used. Of course, the uh, concrete turnaround lane allows vehicles or items to come in from one and then go out the other. And then, of course, this is a good view of that front main entrance and uh, how it looks today. Uh, overall, I think the site looks just amazing, and it's great to see and hear that uh, production has begun, and uh, 2024 is going to see a lot of activity at this site. Now, they are still hiring for both locations, so take a look at either the Boring Company Careers or the uh, SpaceX Career site and see if uh, there's some uh, opportunities there that you would like to take advantage of. And maybe you can work at one or other of these two facilities. So as I pull away, I'm going to reveal both uh, from this direction, give you an, a good idea of where they are located in relation to each other. As always, I hope that you found this informative and useful. And thank you very much for watching. As always, take care and thanks for your support.